Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and a few weeks ago I made a video about my favorite email apps, and my top email app in that video was Edison Mail. Now, as of today, the Wall Street Journal and some other websites have said that Edison Mail is using your information not how it says it wouldn't in its privacy policy, but a little more disturbing than what we had thought they would do. Now, it's a great email app. It wasn't a sponsored video or anything, but after using it and reading some of the privacy policies, actually I removed it a few days ago or maybe a week ago now, and while I like it a lot, they were skimming through emails not only by machine or by computer, they were doing it using humans, redacting some of that information and sending some of that email through to be skimmed and things like that. And in my opinion, you should never have any real person do that. Now, I'm okay, I'm willing to give up some of the things to get some of the features such as tracking of packages or different features such as flight information, but when it comes to privacy, I don't think a real person should ever be looking over that email without opting into a specific program. Now, I was using it on my iPhone 10. I thought Edison Mail was great, but I've since reverted back to the stock email app and I think that's probably a wise decision unless you agree with that policy but I think that's a wise decision and they're not the only ones return path is also guilty of this and we thought Gmail was a long time ago but Gmail has since changed their policies and it's only done by machine and they don't read emails at all at least according to their privacy policy so if you're using Gmail or another app now, I really like Spark email. I think that one's okay, but again, read the privacy policy and make sure that's something that's not being done and your information's not being shared. So I just kind of wanted to update you on that and I'll put a note on that video to make sure they watch this with that more information or for some more information. And I'll also link the article I'm referring to so you can check it out yourself. So hopefully that helps you out. And unfortunately, when some people misuse your information, these sorts of things happen. Let me know what you think about it though in the comments below. What email app are you using? I'd love to hear what you have to say. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.